Hey, good morning. So we're here today in England. Because a Brit can't travel at the moment, uh, we're still in lockdown. So today you've got a home vlog. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different, a little bit fun today. We're gonna be making some Disney inspired, Disney themed cookies and cupcakes. So firstly, we're gonna be making some sugar cookies and we're gonna hopefully decorate those with all kinds of Disney patterns, some Mickey ones. We've got some cookie cutters, so we've got Mickey, Mickey and Minnie, we've got bows, we've got uh, Mickey gloves, things like that, so that'll be quite fun. Next, we're gonna move on to some Moana-inspired cupcakes. Now, there's not an official recipe from Disney, um, but it's something that we just found on the internet, so it will look all sea-themed and things like that. And then we got some little chocolate shells to put on it as well, so that'd be that'd be pretty cool. So follow us along, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to be notified when we're posting all our new videos. Those algorithms help me out a lot, so hit the thumbs up as well. That'd be cool. Uh, let's go and do some baking. All right. So first up, we're going to make our sugar cookies, and these are what we're going to use as the base for our Christmas decoration cookies. So we've bought vanilla buttercream icing. And we bought all these little piping packets as well. And then we got some others. So we couldn't find uh, yellow. We, st we haven't got yellow, so we're going to have to try and sort of mix white with red and get kind of a pinky orangey colour in between. I don't know. We'll do something anyway. Right, so Becky's begun pouring out the sugar. And she's just getting the butter ready at the moment. The only problem we've got, I'll just show you. Being a Brit who can't travel at the moment, we've got a recipe here from allrecipes.com, which I'll put a link down in the description to. But everything's in American waiting, so we've got two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Now, we've obviously used Google to translate that, and it's about 300, 330 grams of all-purpose flour. Uh, baking soda, baking powder. So, let's get going. All right, so we've got our sugar and get our butter. So the next step, we've got to mix this together until it's smooth. All right, we could be here a while. So I'm not gonna let you guys watch all of this. We should have let it come to room temperature. So here's one we prepared earlier. Now, what we've got to do, we've got to put our vanilla extract in. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And stop. Look at that, oh, look at that. And then, one egg. Oh, pro, she's a pro, oh, she's a pro. There we go. Right, now we've got to mix this all in together, right? All right, so we've got baking powder here. That's part of what the recipe calls for. But we don't have baking soda, so we're kind of just, ooh, apparently you can substitute baking soda with baking powder so the substitute is three to one basically so because we need half we're gonna put in 1.5 and it's i mean it's looking better now with the egg in the looks better consistent how this does 48 i don't know but we've got the flour to put in there as well so that might be let's do that now look at this All right gradual, and this was gradual. 300 this was 330 grams she says gradual and then looks at me funny when I... That's enough, that's enough. Oh, come on. This is everything mixed in. The next step on the ingredients list is to ball little, uh, little circles of these out. But we want to do Mickey, Minnie, maybe bows, whatever shapes of these so we can decorate them. Um, so we're not going to be balling them out. We're going to be using some cookie cutters. Now, these are ones we ordered off of... Amazon. So it was a Disney set. We've got Mickey, we've got Minnie, we've got side profile Mickey, we've got his glove, we got a bow, and then Hello Kitty, because that's distinctly Disney. They're really good. I'll put a link down in the description to these as well. Alright, so we have preheated the oven as well. And then it says eight to ten minutes, or until golden. 
So we're gonna pit them out, cook them, and then let them cool down before we start decorating. All right, so what we found is this, this uh, mixture on its own is a bit too sticky, so we're boiling it up and sort of laying it out on flour. And then we're gonna cut out Mickey like this. All right, so. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 we take, we take. Okay, so <laughs> try that one again. There we go. Right, hopefully this time. Take them over here. And then, there you go. So we got, so far we got two Mickeys, a mini, a bow, a hand, and then we've got left to do a profile, a Mickey profile, and we got the Hello Kitty one to do again. All right, so we've managed to cut everything. We got Mickey bows, Hello Kitties, Mickey profile, mini, Mickey, we did some love hearts as well, and Christmas trees. I'm gonna put these in eight to 10 minutes, and hopefully we can decorate them after. It's a funky shaped Christmas tree. All right, so the time has just gone off. Let's have a look at our cupcakes. Ooh, let's have a look. Oh. Oh my goodness. Right, well that's... <laughs> what a disaster. What a disaster. Okay. That's, uh... It's still... Right, it's soft, so... We're gonna try and do... We try and cut into it anyway. All right. It's well, worked. Okay. We should actually, we might be able to make the most of a bad situation here. Okay, that's not so bad then. That's turned out better than anticipated. They're still quite soft, so what we might be able to do now is do this and then maybe put them back in for a couple more minutes. Okay, so Becky's just been doing the separation on this one. And it's worked out fairly well now, actually. And then we've got loads of bits and pieces. This is like the bits that you get from Cadbury World, isn't it? <laughs> the misfits. <laughs> so our cookies have come out fairly okay now, actually. And now we're going to start decorating. So what we're going to do, we've got a selection each of all these shapes and then we've got all these colors so becky's gonna use all of the pink one probably red black we don't have any yellow so we're gonna have to try and come up with something on that let's see how this goes so this is the finished article of the christmas tree then not a bad effort we're gonna do a mickey one should i do a mickey one yep let's do a mickey one let's do this mickey one here what color do you want all right i'm gonna do black all right so this is a finished article on the mickey one i think that's not bad it looks pretty good let's see we got becky's christmas tree and we've done a mini bow and the spots kind of went a little bit awry halfway through but we did a good job on that, I think. Pink and uh, pink and white. You happy with it? You're not happy with it? Oh. oh. So here's the finished article of our sugar cookies. Some real scary ones in amongst those. That one's a bit naked. This one looks like Billy and Puppet. But it really hurts your hand doing the piping. So we kind of gave up. My Christmas tree is the best though. So. Look at that. Needed yellow to put a star on top. We don't have yellow. So what can you do? All right, so our next cooking event for today is gonna to be Moana inspired cupcakes. As I said, they're not official Disney recipe cupcakes, but we've gone and got a uh, cake mix. So we put that together. That makes life a little bit easier. That's what the recipe calls for. And I'll show you guys what the intended outcome of these is, whether they'll turn out like this. So that's what they're supposed to look like. 
with the little seashell and the graham crackers, which we don't have. So they look pretty cool. Right, the ingredients. One box of vanilla cake mix, crushed pineapple, so we got a tin of uh, pineapple. One tub of vanilla icing. Now the cupcake mix that we got came with vanilla icing, but we'll probably use different things. Blue food color and we've got that. Graham crackers. Now we don't have graham crackers in the UK, but I've just got some digestive biscuits. And then it says about these seashell molds. Now, couldn't be bothered to do that. So we've got a box of Gillian chocolates, which are little shell shaped chocolates anyway. So this is what it's supposed to be. And then this, uh, yeah, pretty cool, right? So let's get on and make these. This should be a little bit easier than before because we've just got the uh, cake mix already. We're gonna make six cupcakes out of this cake mix. Starting number two. So we've got our recipe here. And this is gonna be the, the cake mix for the Moana cupcakes. It comes with our little, little cake cases as well. And we're just gonna follow the instructions here nice and simply. This is just from uh, vanilla cupcake mix from Tesco's. So it should be nice and easy. And then we've got some buttercream icing to put on top. So that part will be fun. All right, so we put all the cake mix in and everything. And then we just got to whisk it up. Good whisk, actually. Doesn't make a lot, though. As I said, it only makes six. I feel like Nigella Lawson or uh, What's his name from Great British Bake Off? Hollywood. Paul Hollywood. Paul, Paul Hollywood. I think I got a Paul Hollywood vibe to me. All right. So once we've mixed that up, that's it. That's it. We just put it into the cupcake mix and then we're done. What a recipe, right? I said, this is just from Tesco's. So we'll pick this, uh, you know, you can just go up Tesco's and get the vanilla flavor cupcake mix. You'll get something like this from Walmart, Target, um, Publix, places like that, you'll get anything like that from there if you're over in the States. Um, those are the only supermarkets I know in other countries, so if you want to go in Australia or something, I have a good clue. One thing you should remember is to read the entire recipe that you're following before you start doing it. Um, because we've made a mistake, basically. So, as I said, we've mixed everything in. The recipe that we're using, which I'll put a link down in the description to, um, basically says that if you want the pineapple flavor, you substitute the milk or water, in this case we're using milk, for crushed pineapple. Because it, uh, as Becky said, it lets off like juice and whatnot as it's baking. We're gonna try and bodge it a little bit. We're gonna put a bit of extra flour in here to make it a little bit more dry. And then we're gonna put some pineapple in as well. And then hopefully that will do it. That means the cupcakes will be a bit bigger than anticipated, so that'd be cool. Um, but we're not measuring anything. We're just pitting it in and pouring way too much. <laughs> yeah, a bit too much, a bit too much in. But then we can now pit the, uh, the pineapple in here and hopefully that'll bulk it out a bit more. We've got some chunky bits of pineapple in there. It, it did say crushed pineapple. But what we're trying to do is sort of crush it as we go along. And I think that's actually turned out quite well. It looks a similar consistency to what we had before with bits of pineapple in there now. So we've got the pineapple flavor. Let's maybe, maybe if we do put a little bit of pineapple juice in there to, to flavor the whole mix. Just a tiny bit, all right. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> Pick those out. <laughs> We're not doing very well here, are we? Now we've uh, got a fairly good consistency that we know of. Spooning it into the cupcake and Acer mixes, uh, little cases. Hopefully these will rise up. The way our recipes have been going so far, though, I'm not optimistic, but I'm praying. Oven requires 190 degrees centigrade. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, so forgive me. 15 minutes. We've got our cupcake mix. Let's put it in. 15 minutes. It's 
start time. Okay, now we're going to try and make our Moana inspired cupcakes by mixing some blue food colouring into this. That's going to be too much, I think. I don't think. Do you not think? I think that'll do, actually. I All think right. I want to add a bit more. You want to add a bit more blue? Yeah, I don't you? Go on, then. Well, that's too blue. <laughs> just joking. So we're going to pipe the icing out. What we've done is taken a food bag, cut a corner in it, cut a corner off of it, sorry, and we've put a little a pipe hole thing in the corner as well. The best way I can describe nozzle. it. Pipe nozzle, yes. Yeah. So we put a pipe nozzle in the corner. And then we're going to um, use this to hopefully... pipe into these cupcakes. So Becky's going to do the honours. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. There we go. Not bad, not bad. I think that's um, kind of as good as it's going to get, isn't it? So we're crumbling this up over the side of it. This is the sand. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. And uh, there's an FYI, I bought a whole packet of digestives for this, and I think we're only going to use two of the digestives. So be warned, get the smallest packet you can. <laughs> Final piece of the puzzle is our little chocolate shells. So you're supposed to make these yourself, get a little um, shell mold and melt some chocolate in them. But I've just got uh, Gillian chocolates. So we've got to decide which shell we're going to put on. You need a little clam? Clam's quite a big one, isn't it? So you want to put that on the biggest one. Is it staying in place? No. Oh, no. Right, well, that's a bit of a mess. I'm going to choose this one. The good thing about buying a pack of Gillian and not making them yourself is you get a pack of Gillian. So what's not to love about that? There you go, see? The finished article looks very uh, homemade. <laughs> All right, and that's the complete finished article. So we've got our Moana inspired cupcakes. And then we've got our Disney sugar cookies with a Christmas tree as well, because it's Christmas. So let's give these a try. It tastes of pineapple in there. It's not bad. A big chunk of pineapple that I'm about to eat into. They make a mess though, so... Just be warned of that. They're really nice. They're really nice. So we've had... We've had a pretty good day. Got some uh, Gillian on top of it, which is very nice. Um, if you've enjoyed watching us bake and fail miserably... Yeah. Follow us along, hit the thumbs up, it helps me out a lot, I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when posting all our new videos. See you on the other side. Thanks. <laughs>